Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back on the final day of Wild Eye Week with my review of The Final Ride. It's the final ride for the final day of Wild Eye Week. The Final Ride is a 2019 horror anthology film produced, written, directed, and edited by Mike McCurin. He was also responsible for the 2015 Christmas slasher film Secret Santa. I reviewed that one on Wild Eye Wednesday during the 12 Days of Christmas in 2020. And just like Secret Santa, Wild Eye Releasing distributed this DVD of the final ride. If you've seen Secret Santa, then you'll recognize a lot of faces in this movie. The two films share a lot of the same cast. I originally picked the final ride for the final day of Wild Eye Week because of the title. It turns out though, this was a great way to end it. I'm a huge fan of horror anthology films as it is, but this one was awesome. The cover alone had me intrigued. I mentioned when I first got this DVD that the cover reminds me of Twisted Metal, that old video game for PlayStation. And although nothing quite like this pictured here on the cover actually happens in the movie, it's still really cool. The final ride follows a rideshare driver named Jean. She's basically an Uber driver. She picks up random passengers throughout the day and night. Some of these passengers end up being the characters in the segments of this anthology. The first segment is about a young married couple named Peter and Monica. The two have just purchased their first home together. It seems like the perfect house on the perfect street in the perfect neighborhood. Upon exploring the basement when they first move in, Peter discovers a box of old VHS tapes hidden behind the furnace. Peter is eager to watch them, hoping they'll be retro sex tapes. It turns out instead they are vintage workout tapes featuring a fitness guru named Jimmy. After watching tape after tape, Peter begins to act differently. He becomes sort of obsessed with working out. His attitude toward Monica changes as well. He becomes very stern. It is soon revealed that the realtor kept a dark secret from the young couple. A dark secret that may even be deadly. If you're a fan of horror anthologies like I am, then you'll probably agree with what I'm about to say. In many, I feel like there are certain segments that really stand out, that stick with you long after watching them. The Raft in Creepshow 2, for example, is one for me. I can tell you another one now will be this one with this fitness guru Jimmy. It was just so damn creative. It also features one hell of a brutal kill. The practical effects are amazing. Seriously, I will forever remember this segment because of its originality. It's funny because I started Wild Eye Week with my review of Dark Sister, and in that video I mentioned that it was very original. Horror fans are constantly complaining about there not being enough original horror films being made. That's why I recommended Dark Sister to everyone. Well, here we are at the end of Wild Eye Week, and I'm recommending The Final Ride for the very same reason. This is an original horror anthology. The second segment is about two lifelong friends who get drunk and decide to get tattoos late at night. Technically, one of the guys pressures the other into getting a tattoo, and while he's getting his, his friend passes out. The one guy gets a small tattoo, high up on his arm. He soon finds, however, that something is very wrong. The tattoo keeps growing, spreading all over his body. He begins experiencing some other gruesome effects as well. Again, another original segment in this anthology. 
The final ride wraps up with a story involving our driver, Jean. There is a serial killer on the loose in her city, and her next ride might be the final ride. I love the quote on the back of this DVD. It says, proves that a low budget doesn't matter if you have some great and interesting ideas. That is absolutely true in regards to this movie. It's so unique that you don't even notice the low budget. With that being said, this film was very competently made, so chances are you wouldn't notice the low budget anyway. I'd say the acting is more than decent for the most part. The effects, as I mentioned, are very well done. I love how each segment is sort of separate, but also flows together into one movie. They are not titled individually or separated really in any way. In essence, like some horror anthology films, these are not individual short films just put together on the same disc. They definitely work together as one movie. This was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I loved The Final Ride. If you're a fan of horror anthologies, chances are you'll love it too. Have you seen The Final Ride? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Huge thank you as always to Wild Eye Releasing for sending me this DVD to review. Guys, it's been a great Wild Eye week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my Wild Eye reviews as well as everyone else's participating this week. This was all about promoting Wild Eye Releasing because it's an awesome company. Hopefully, after this week, you have a list of titles you hope to add to your Wild Eye collection. And don't forget, just because Wild Eye Week is over doesn't mean the Wild Eye reviews will stop. Check back on Wild Eye Wednesdays for new reviews each week. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.